This is Carla Hinton reporting for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. I'm here in the studio with Mike and Doris Merritt. They are founders of Merritt Cowboy Ministries based in Hugo. Thanks for coming in. Thank you well, for thank having you us. For We're really glad that you came in today. We have a couple of questions to ask you, and we wanted to know first, can you tell me about your cowboy church ministry? How did you get started? Uh, I got started with music uh, in, a, in a cowboy church, playing music, and then migrated to, I was in Texas. Okay. And I migrated to Oklahoma to help with a church with music and uh, about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And I've been there ever since and uh, in Oklahoma, and we have, since that time, I went from being music to being a preacher at a cowboy church, and, and we have had opportunities to start 35 or so mm -hmm. churches in Oklahoma. Okay. And, uh, and things just went, went on and went on. Okay, okay. Now, you know, we've talked before. Tell me a little bit about some of the uh, unique aspects of cowboy churches. <laughs> well, it's uh, I guess the unique is the culture. You know, the, right. it is a it is about a a, a culture of people that's okay. that's kind of sometimes overlooked. Uh, okay. And uh, there are there are still families out on the ranch, out on the farm, making a hard living, and and uh, good people. And, and so our our cowboy church structure is geared towards bringing them into church, into a relationship with the Lord, and okay. and and we we've taken down some of some of the things uh, that were keep people away, okay. some of the traditions that that uh, they just don't feel good with. We we do things different. We wear hats. We take our hats off when we go to the Lord, and uh, that was hard for me right. to to get used to. But uh, through the times in going to these churches, I began to see some of my old rodeo friends and cowboy friends coming to church, and they felt real comfortable. So. With it, and that I figured it was more important to reach a lost soul than it was to worry about some things, you know. So, it's a uh, we we are we uh, the arena is very important to okay. draw those folks to to you. So we have a lot of events from stick horse races to bull riding. To, <laughs> okay, <you> know, <laughs> That's funny. we get a, we got the cowboys, cowgirls, and cow babies. We want all of them, you know. <laughs> okay. So uh, those things uh, and our music, uh, of course, Doris, you can talk about that if you want to. And what is another neat thing about, um, I think it's been really interesting, you target the cowboys. That's okay. what you. That's what makes the cowboy church. Mm -hmm. But there's so many folks that really enjoy the cowboy church because of the atmosphere and the ca casualness of our church. Okay. And the, also, we, we say we're not supposed to be judgmental, but right. there's a very much of an openness there. And a lot of folks that have never been to church feel more comfortable in that type of setting. They may not be a cowboy, but they love, maybe say they love Western music, they love horses, they're ranchers, so it's, it's a wide variety okay. of folks that come. You don't have to be a cowboy to come to Cowboy Church, you just have to love the environment and, and the way that we worship. And we all worship the same God. But the music, it's country music, uh, swing music, Texas music, so we try to stay in that vein of the what the cowboy culture would like. And uh, I have the opportunity to lead the music at our church, and it has been wonderful. It's been so fun, it okay. really has. Well good, good. Well, That's a good segue into my next question. I know that both of you have a musical background. I'm hoping, Doris, that you can talk a little bit about your unique musical background and then uh, we'll have you, Mike, kind of talk about yours. Okay. okay. Well, my background, I sang with a four-girl country group. I'm going to date myself just a little bit. <laughs> In the 80s called Girls Next Door and um, Slow Up to China was a song that was a top 10 and our very first single, Love Will Get You Through Times With No Money, Better Than Money Will Get You Through Times I With like No Love. I like that song. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's re it was really, it went number 14 on the Billboard charts okay. and for the first out of the box, we were just very tickled about that and it just, it changed our lives. Okay. But another unique thing and we just say, God God had his hand on us back then, the four girls that I, or the three <laughs> other girls that I sang with because what was um, at that time, Christian music, I mean, it was there, but it right. wasn't as in the forefront, I don't think, as now. Right. And we were requested that music to be played on a lot of the Christian stations, Good. not only on the country stations, but on the Christian stations as well. So we say God had a hand in our um, music even back then in our lives. Okay. And then that, you know, as I ended up in Oklahoma right. and uh, working with the cowboy churches, and Mike and I got to do our project. That was one of the songs that we put on our new CD, which I know we'll talk about in a minute. But okay, yeah. interesting, interesting. So it's fascinating. What about you, Mike? Tell me a little bit about how you came to music. 
God. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. I, I, I play. My my family were were musical. My mother's side, they were all musical. So I, I played guitar a little bit, and I just went from there to playing bass guitar with a good friend of mine from Texas. Uh, we did country music. We played just all venues, you know, out there. Mm -hmm. And and I was I, I learned a lot of music, sound playing, okay. working with a band driving a bus, setting up sound, <laughs> and uh, so it, it, and I, after, when I look back now, it was, it was the Lord preparing me for, yeah. right. for what he had for us here. Okay. Uh, Sounds like you but, can do anything. It yeah. can, you right? it really can. Yeah. <laughs> he never knows what he's going to play on Sunday mornings. Okay. It depends okay. on who's there. <laughs> okay. And we, okay. we just, so it's, it's, you know, God's plan is always bigger than ours and greater right. than ours, and right. we, we, we don't really know sometimes why we're doing things right. or driven to do things, right. but uh, it's saying music, I always enjoyed music. It was just, I never thought I would be in a band or be doing what we're doing now musically, okay. cause, but uh, we, we do what we can do and we just give it to the Lord and, and hope it touches somebody and okay. helps make a better day, make a better life. Okay, okay, good, yeah. good. And on that note, <laughs> let's talk about your new CD, Detours. Let me hold that up for a little bit so people can see the, the front. How did this project get started? Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, we'd love to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Carly, it was, it was so exciting because we spent three years uh, praying about material, okay. talking to people about a concept and what we wanted to do. and. Then we ended up going, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Right. Nashville's my home, and of course I was in the music industry. And I told Mike, I said, when we have the opportunity to do this, I want to go home. I want to work with the people I'm familiar with and uh, work in the studios there, there in Nashville. Okay. And that's what we had the opportunity to do. It had some wonderful musicians, absolutely the best that you could get. <laughs> um, Ricky Skye's fiddle player, um, Al Perkins that played with the Eagles several years ago and several other just awesome musicians, but also the writers as well that mm -hmm. came and brought us material. Good. And just, we were, like I said, we were so blessed for every step of the way. But uh, the song Detours, that is our title cut, okay. where that came about and how we titled our album was that, you know, Mike and I, through our lives, we've walked through a lot of things and take some de taken some detours that right. have taken us off of the path that that maybe God had originally planned for us. Okay. But you know, He can always bring you back right. and put you back on that path and it's always better than ever, every time that happens. And so that's what we feel like the title has brought. And uh, that song Detours was in October, was the number one song on the Christian country chart. Okay. So we're very proud of great. that. So mm -hmm. Have I covered everything? I know there's something you've got to say <laughs> about that. Oh, no, it, well, we, we, uh, we originally started thinking about it going to start help the churches start and traveling around some and people were asking do we have a CD and we didn't have one so okay. we we started really thinking about it and praying about it and, and that's that's where it stemmed from and and our purpose for it was just to have to to right. give people something and, and again before we knew it it was just going in different places that we never even considered okay you know okay. and uh we were with the detours was number one uh our first release was a song that michael martin murphy wrote right, right. and sang uh with doris in the studio okay it was the first release and it mm -hmm. it, it made the charts okay uh, but it and it also for us it opened up a lot of doors to go into the venues if you will to uh cowboy gatherings uh okay. trail rides mm -hmm. those kind of things horse industry people uh it, it that opened some doors for us to to get to go and do our music and talk about jesus okay. and, uh, <laughs> always good yeah yeah and then we uh we were nominated for a duo of the year in the icgma for this year and was awarded that and it's Excellent. it's just it's really been kind of like a whirlwind because it's it's not what you were trying to do but right. we give it all to the lord and we we are where we're supposed to be or it wouldn't happen. Right, that. right, good, good. And it has, like Mike said, it's just opened up doors that we just didn't expect. And mm -hmm. especially with Michael Martin Murphy, uh, he's invited us to be with him on several occasions and perform with him, especially with the song, um, it's called The Kill Pen. And okay. it's, you know, you, it talks about a horse you know, if you don't know what a kill pen is, that's where they send animals that they're not, they're gonna do away with. Okay. And it talk, it relates that back to how, 
you know, like we were in the kill pen and Jesus brought us out of that kill pen mm. and saved our lives. Yeah. And it's really a wonderful concept, right. but we were able to perform with him at the, um, um, in Guthrie at the American Horse Women's Challenge mm -hmm. okay. and uh, some other horse events that, that that was very relatable. And to look out and see the people just relate to that and right. then to turn it around is like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, so that really is a blessing, <laughs> a return blessing that comes back to us. So okay. that's been some of the things, like Mike said, some of the opportunities that we just didn't expect. And those are the places, Carla, that we enjoy going. We love to go to our churches and, and minister there, but to be in a secular environment mm -hmm. and to share our music with those folks, because our material is positive right. and when we say it's not real, when I say churchy, it, it can cover a wide market. In other words, people would enjoy it that maybe wouldn't sit down and pick up a Christian CD. Right. They would enjoy this music. So that's what we're hoping that they get a message out of that. Okay. You know, okay. so that's it. So we love to go to those, those environments too. Okay. okay. Well, this is so interesting. Very, the, the songs sound fascinating. Um, well, I would love to um, ask you just uh, one more thing. How do people get a hold of you at your church, if they wanted to come to a service, what, what time do, do you do you meet? In, I know you're in Hugo, but what time do you meet just in case there are folks that way or maybe they're traveling through there and want to go? We are Sunday mornings okay. at 1030. We have a, uh, we have a Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. Cowboy Crossing okay. Church, okay, Hugo, have okay. a website. Okay. And then as do we have, mm -hmm. a, we okay. have American Cowboy Ministries. Okay. Uh, a website, and a Facebook, all that stuff. You know, okay. you got to have today. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And we, we try to we try to keep up with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Pretty do. good. Yeah. But they can contact us, and they okay. can find out about our church, our church's activities, and what what Mike and Doris are doing as well. Okay. So. Good. Good. Well, thank you guys for coming in. This is well, thank great. you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Well, I think that you're also going to sing us a song, and so I'll sign off for now. For more information about Mike and Doris Merritt and their new CD detours look in the Oklahoman. Thanks to our friends at Troctas Flowers and Garden Center for the poinsettias. Troctas has everything you need this holiday season, from beautiful flowers and poinsettias to expert decorators who can spruce up your home this holiday season. Headed down life's rugged road, stumbling neath a heavy load. I was headed for a fate of ill design. Many faults for me prayed, many pleas for me were made. I should have read that detour sign. Detour, there's a muddy road ahead. Detour, paid no mind to what it said. Detour, all those bitter things you find you better read that detour sign when I got stuck in the mud and my heart fell with the thud but the blame for being stuck there was all mine for I'd heard time and again Christ could lift my soul from sin I should have read that detour sign detour there's a muddy road ahead, detour. Paid no mind to what it said, detour. All those bitter things you find you'd better read. That detour sign. By and by when hope was gone and I could no more go on, I did to the Lord my heart and soul resign. Now to us. I say, who must pass along this way? You'd better read that detour sign. Detour, there's a muddy road ahead. Detour, pay some mind to what I've said. Detour, all those bitter things you'll find you'd better read that detour sign. You better read that detour sign.